Yo, what's up guys? It has been a while and that is because of summer vacation. I've been studying a lot and actually learning a lot of new things. Like I learned a lot of web application and today I wanted to actually show my newest application that I made. Um, and I am gonna hopefully start beta releasing it soon. So if anyone's interested, please let me know in the comments. But my goal with this application is to make it the best application with basically everything a student needs. So yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and preview this application. It looks kind of dank right now, like the home screen, it doesn't look all that good. But I think it's something I can work on and improve a lot more. But let me just go ahead, hit the start button and then just log in. Um, don't ask me why I used that email. Um, I actually have no idea why. <laughs> okay, but that said, um, this application, as I said, is meant to be everything that a student needs. So first, I have a study timer. So here, uh, you have regular timer mode and you also have the Pomodoro timer mode. So in the regular timer mode, you can like, set a timer of how many ever minutes you want up to 90 minutes and then you can go ahead and click start and then once you click start the timer starts counting down of course and then you can stop in the middle if you want or you can wait till the end so i'm just gonna go ahead and click stop now and then it'll navigate to the study time tab where over here it'll show you your total study hours and i'll also have a graph of your history in terms of like studying how many hours you studied on every day and since i didn't study a single hour on this application today it says zero hours um but yeah and also this is going to be a line graph for now i have only like one data entry for today but like if i added multiple data entries it would show up as a line graph so that's how it, it, it would look the statistics tab and also i have a streak here I'm not sure how to design it yet, but I probably will add some designing later, but this just shows how many days you've been studying so that uh, you can make like a study habit and be consistent with your studying. And then there's also a Pomodoro timer and this is a very flexible. Um, I wanted to make it as flexible as possible because I see that a lot of Pomodoro timers are not very flexible. Like they give you preset times and stuff, but here you can choose whatever you want up to 90 minutes so i can do like 50 minute study and then 10 minute break and then put how many ever sessions i want and then it'll do the normal pomodoro timer so one thing i have to work on is like adding an alarm in the end because like there's nothing that notifies you once the timer is done like it just shows an alert pop-up on the window but like i actually need to like add an alarm so that while someone's studying they can actually know that the timer is done but i'll just go ahead and click stop now and as you can see now it says study time 0.01 hours so yeah and over here uh the study time is in minutes but your total study time is shown in hours because like if i put minutes there's just gonna be like this one dude who sweats studying and like within two weeks it's it says like 100,000 minutes or something like crazy like that but yeah so a Pomodoro timer, and then the next thing is a task list, which is honestly personally my favorite part of this application. I put in like some really clean UI, I think. So you can choose your priority here. So let's just say there's a low priority task and uh, task title English homework, because I don't like English. I can go ahead submit task and then it shows up my task here. And it shows up in green for low priority. And let's say I put normal priority and I say, um, math homework because math is kind of fun and then normal priority shows up as yellow and then computer science homework because computer science is the best we put high priority and i go submit task it shows up as red so this is how the priority list shows up and then if i click this like minus sign i'll close up my task list and then once i'm done i can of course check off the task and then it says task removed here and yeah so that's all oh my god what is going on okay there so that's all i have for this application for now but i have a lot of ideas of other stuff i want to add like there's so much i can do with the statistics tab because i'm grabbing a good amount of data in terms of like the study time for each individual like each user i'm also planning to add like a habit tracker over here 
but yeah let me know if you guys have any recommendations i i'm planning to host this application and i really really hope many people use it because again i want this to be like the best application for studying online and yeah if you have absolutely any requests on what you want me to add please let me know in the comments below because i want this to be like a very community oriented development so i want like a good feedback loop it's like i make updates and then the community comes back and lets me know what they want me to add and then i go ahead and add that but yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys are excited for this project i am super excited and uh yeah that said i'm very sorry for the unstructured video it's i'm just trying to remain as authentic as possible and speak whatever comes out of my mouth but yeah okay that's it guys i hope you are excited and see you at the beta testing hopefully bye